If you're not happy with cigarette butts on the ground, try and speak to the shop owners wherever you go. For example, I was just getting my screen fixed on my phone. I was chatting to the shop owner about all the cigarette butts on the street. So we discussed about putting an ashtray at the front, trying to keep the front clean. So also gave him some little pocket ashtrays. So if he sees anyone throwing cigarette butts on the ground, can also hand them out instead of uh, confronting them. It's a nice way. Do you need an ashtray? So you don't have to buy these. For example, we got these ones from the shooting range. They're free. They were going to throw them out. So a friend contacted me and said, do you want to use them? So I said, okay, we'll give them a try. They're pretty good. They click closed again. So it doesn't have to be expensive. And I also was chatting to the owner of the hairdressing shop about the same problem, cigarette butts on the ground outside the front of the shop. And I asked him, do you have an ashtray? And he said, yes. And I said, well, where is it? Because it's not at the front. He said, oh, it's at the back. Because everyone throws rubbish in it and fills it up. So. A lot of shop owners, they have cigarette ashtrays, but they take them inside and don't use them because everyone fills it up with rubbish. And uh, I see this at the U-Bahn, at the uh, underground stations as well. People put plastic bottles in their tissues, uh, wrappers from the kebab shops. So once again, a message to all the smokers, please bin your butts. The world is not an ashtray. The ground is not an ashtray. Other people have to walk here too. Not to forget that cigarette butts are actually plastic. So if you look closely, you'll see that the paper breaks down and tobacco goes away, but the plastic filter is always left on the ground. So those are the white, browny, blacky uh, little things stuck between all the cracks on the street. So anyway, wherever you are in the world or wh whatever city you're in, uh, you can make a difference one shop at a time. That's what I try to do anyway.